What is going on everybody? My name is Alan and this is Project Elevate. I want to give you guys a peek at the content for today. We're getting Retro Volume 3 highlighted by Dark Matter Derek Rose. We got a Opal uh, Steph Curry. We got a Opal Scotty Pippen. Opal Hito Turkoglu. Pink Diamond Anthony Towns. Pink Diamond Draymond Green. Diamonds are Clay Thompson, Russell Westbrook. Uh, Tyler Hero is going to be an agenda uh, reward player. And we have Amethyst, Baron Davis, Zach Levine, and Ruby Penny Hardaway. All right, guys, and do me a favor real quick before we get into this. Um, hit that like button. It helps the channel grow. helps uh, get in front of more people. Um, subscribe, please. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers um, by this month and start growing this channel. Um, that lets me know you guys want to see more videos, and it kind of motivates me to put out more stuff. Um, so do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit those noties. Let's jump into it. All right, so um, a couple things stand out. Um, first, another Dark Matter card. So that's the, the third one or the fifth one if you count the two versions of uh, Zion and Michael Jordan. Um, Steph Curry should be nice out there. Uh, we'll see how he kind of translates now that there are bigger point guards out in the game like Luka, like Magic. Um, so we'll have to see how that plays out. Scottie Pippen looks like he's going to be a beast on the wing. So if you missed out on a guy like Kawhi Leonard uh, a couple seasons ago, um, then Scottie Pippen's going to definitely fill that type of role. Um, so he should be pretty good out there. And then a couple of cards that really catch my eye, some of these diamond cards, and I've gone through some of the stats already, and I'll go through that in a minute, but we have kind of a theme with this drop where we have uh, previously released lock-ins in Clay Thompson, Russell Westbrook, and Baron Davis. And they all seem like they're pretty comparable or in some cases better than those lock-ins. Um, so the lesson learned here is that one, you should never lock in those really expensive cards because they will be outdated and not worth the, the lock in in the long run uh, by any stretch of the imagination until the very, very end where we're in end game and it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, two is that um, card tiers really don't mean much to 2K. Um, Galaxy Opals from early on in the year will be surpassed by diamonds and sometimes even amethysts. Uh, later on in the year so 2k i think they need to reimagine how they do that um, but anyway let's jump into it let's go through some of these cards let's jump into derrick rose all right so derrick rose has a uh, 99 speed acceleration all that good stuff a 94 three ball um, 98 driving dunk looking pretty good defensively as well over here uh, playmaking looks off the charts too um 39 hall of fame badges 18 gold badges on top of that um, and let's see if there is any notable missing badges um, I mean steady shooter which translates into um, blinders on next gen which is a good badge to, good badge to add if you're on next gen um, other than that like rim protector rebound chaser stuff like that maybe something to, to add to him but other than that he looks pretty badged out Again, the trend um, badges will become less and less valuable as the year goes on. All right, so let's jump into Steph Curry. This is uh, from 2K19 Ultimate Set. Came out towards the end of that year. And uh, Steph Curry is looking great offensively. Obviously, he's going to have his Curry slide. Um, he's badged out. These are the stats. Um, perimeter defense is at 89. Lateral quick is 95, so he should be able to keep up with some people. But it's going to be interesting to see how he... Uh, matches up with some of the bigger point guards like i mentioned before we have luca we have magic out there and you know sooner or later we're gonna get a ben simmons that can shoot it's gonna be interesting to see how he kind of holds his pace with some of those bigger guards that are out there now they did juice his uh, driving layup um the driving dunk is only an 80 though so it's not super super juiced um badges see if he's missing anything notable um, highlight film uh, posterizer he doesn't come with posterizer so that's going to be interesting um, no blinders pretty much all the playmaking badges um, and defensively stuff like uh, clutch defender defensive leader a rebound chaser trapper worm stuff like that tendencies at 94 Pass interception tendency, 88 on ball steal tendency. We have 
course the the sigs interesting um, he, as of now this may get updated but he only has basic one handers off of one um, definitely gonna make him somewhat limited and that he's gonna have to <laughs> do his majority of scoring from the outside so very interesting on that no juice dunks for this Steph Curry Alright, jumping into Scotty Pippen, um, he's looking pretty solid all around. Scotty Pippen's always known for being like a very well all-around player. The rebounding is a little bit low, and that's uh, interesting because Scotty Pippen was a pretty good rebounder in his day. Um, driving dunk is only a 90 actually, which is kind of a little low too. Um, kind of weird how how they, they distribute some of these stats with some of these guys. Um, 92. I mean, honestly, overall, um, I mean. We'll have to see how he behaves defensively, what kind of defensive animations he gets. Um, the card seems a little bit underwhelming um, in my book. Um, notable badges that he's missing. Um, let's see, no dead eye for him, uh, no blinders, no hot zone hunter, no green machine, um, no ankle breaker. You can get all these badges though, so at least you can uh, you can badge him out. Um, on the defensive end, no ankle braces, which makes no sense at all. That, that is blasphemous. That is blasphemous. Oh, well, why he wouldn't have no ankle braces, no rim protector. Um, just this is just a weird card, to be honest with you. Um, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't know what 2K is doing with with that. I'm curious to see if. Uh, this card got anything different they usually get one extra hall of fame badge but yeah still missing like ankle braces like imagine scotty pippen one of the guys that's best known for defense not having ankle braces at all or rim protector he was you know he was a pretty good shot blocker for a wing defender i don't know man i don't know what 2k is doing with this it's just crazy to me. All right, let's take a look at Carl Anthony Towns. Um, he's going to be a nice little budget um, center. It's 87 speed, um, 87 acceleration, not bad at all. 93 three ball, he's going to be able to stretch the floor for you. 90 driving dunk, decent perimeter defense at an 85. Um, good interior defense at a 90. Um, 85 lateral quickness as well. And 93, 94 on the defensive ratings there. Um, he's not going to be able to speed boost or do anything crazy with the handles, um, but he at least is going to be able to get up and down the floor. As far as any notable badges that he's going to be missing, uh, blinders on next gen, uh, clutch shooter, difficult shots. Let's see, uh, fade ace, I guess if uh, you want to do post fades with him. Um, a lot of playmaking badges that he doesn't have, um, ankle, brace, uh, ankle breaker, uh, bailout, which might be important. Um, handles for days. He's not going to be really dribbling out there too much, though. Uh, Diamond Floor General. Um, defensive badges that he's missing. Ankle braces. Chase down artist. Clutch defender. Defensive leader. Pickpocket. And trapper. Um, clamps on gold. Rim protector and intimidator on Hall of Fame. So it's important out there. He does have Hall of Fame deep threes. And quarter specialist. Circus threes. Catch and shoot. He does have dead eye. Um, so he's definitely going to be a, a shooting threat out there. For sure. Has his jumper on quick. Um, some a couple a couple of nice dunk packages there. Um, athletic side tomahawks, super athletic tomahawks off two, side windmills. Um, so we'll be getting some some nice flashy dunks out there. Let's jump into the next couple handful of cards. So these are some of the cards. Uh, speaking of Clay Thompson, Russell Westbrook, and Baron Davis, um, just pretty interesting, man. Um, I know we had a Clay Thompson lock-in uh, for last season. It was uh, ridiculously expensive to lock in for Clay. Um, most people don't have them, thankfully. And if we can get this to load, okay. So here we go. So this is uh, Clay Thompson from uh, 2K19. I remember this card. He was really expensive for a long time. Um, really good card in that game and in this year's game uh, 97 three ball 89 acceleration 
um, excuse me, speed and 88 acceleration. Um, defense is pretty nice as well, 94 perimeter defense, 97 lateral quickness. Um, driving dunk is an 80. Um, 86 ball handle, 88 speed with ball. So overall looking pretty good. Nothing really stands out as being like really underwhelming. The rebounding's a little bit low, but he's a he's a guard, 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan. Uh, as far as the badges go, um, he's lacking posterizer, lob city finisher, uh, rise up, which is not so important for a guard. Um, shooting badges, no blinders, no ice and veins, but most of the important ones are on Hall of Fame, including Circus 3's Catch and Shoot, Quarter Specialist, Dead Eye, Deep 3's, Rhythm Shooter, a Sniper, Volume Shooter, Tireless Shooter. Um, and defensively, he does have ankle braces, so it's funny that um, <laughs> Scotty Pippen, Galaxy Opal Scotty Pippen, doesn't have ankle braces at all, but um, Diamond Clay Thompson has Hall of Fame ankle braces. I don't know what 2K is doing with this stuff. Um, that's something I think they, they really need to get sorted out in the future of my team. Um, that's just my opinion. I could talk a lot about that. Maybe I will in another video. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video like that. <laughs> Talking about just tears and the inconsistencies and all that junk. Um, so anyway, Clamps on Hall of Fame, Intimidator on Hall of Fame. Um, most of the good badges he has for, for uh, the defensive side. I guess Interceptor, Chase Down Artist, uh, Rim Protector, the, the ones that Rebound Chaser, those are the ones that he's mainly missing. Um, one thing I do want to do though is I want to compare um, this Clay Thompson to the Opal Clay Thompson. Now, this Clay Thompson is probably going to go for about 10K, if that, maybe, maybe less depending on how juiced um, th these packs are. Um, and I just want to like compare, I mean, the speed, there's a slight differences, plus three, plus four. Um, so pretty much you can, it, he's in the same kind of realm as really the, the pink diamond Kobe and the ruby Kobe. You put the right uh, shoe on him, depending on your play style, on the right coach combination, and add a couple badges here and there, and you're pretty much, you pretty much got the, the, the card. So he does come with definitely more Hall of Fame badges, but you saw that this clay has pretty much all the important uh, meta badges already on Hall of Fame. Um, so really not a huge difference. Definitely, I mean, 10 KMT, under 10 KMT, or I don't even know how much the lock-in was for clay. It's probably over a million MT. Um, just doesn't make any sense to lock in cards in you know the early parts, the middle parts of the game. It just doesn't make any sense at all. Um, and I mean the Hall of Fame badges that he has that are extra. I mean it's like acrobat, contact finisher, um, fancy footworks, <clears throat> relentless. So let's see if there's anything that's like big time. I mean I guess like the Hot Zone Hunter and stuff like that helps a little bit. But as far as the really important ones on the defensive end, um, even on the shooting end. He, they're all the same so essentially like these cards are, are pretty comparable nothing that really just makes you go man i really need to have this opal clay thompson over this this diamond all right so i want to jump into russell westbrook of course russell westbrook was the, the limited reward for last season um i locked him in in uh, on one of my accounts and as far as uh comparison goes I should probably just jump into that. I'm going to go through these really, really quick um, just so you guys can see them if you haven't. But I really want to jump into the comparisons because this is the important part here. As you can see, it's the same kind of scenario. There's a couple of stats that uh, that go up plus three, plus, plus two, something like that. Nothing crazy, nothing that a, a, the shoe or a coach can't fix or combination, the right combination of those. So essentially, they're they're pretty identical cards. On the badge side, I mean, it's even less discrepancy. There's one extra Hall of Fame badge on this Russell, Russell Westbrook, and that is uh, he has flexible release, which this one doesn't. And the extra Hall of Fame badge is uh, Pick Dodger. Um, so not a big deal, of course, as you can see. Um, this one loses the steady shooter. Um, which is blinders on next gen. 
So if you're on current gen, this card uh, is more appealing. Um, a big thing too though is uh, the... Wow, and this now says quick, so I don't know if this was updated. I'm gonna have to try out that old uh, the other Westbrook and see. Um, Cause for the most, you know, for the majority of time, this Westbrook was on um, on normal speed. And if, you've, if you shot with that Russell Westbrook, that jump shot was incredibly, incredibly slow. So I'm really curious to see if they actually updated it on the, the Opal. Uh, if not, this diamond would have been, you know, miles better than the, than the Opal. Um, and even as is, just kind of goes to show you um, most of the time it's not worth it to, um, to lock in for these types of things. Um, I mean, this was a free limited reward. You just had to choose whether you wanted your Hoff badge or the Russell Westbrook. Um, but interesting and again, I just don't understand 2k's uh, mentality on that type of stuff um, I was gonna go into the same thing with with Baron Davis because he's uh, very comparable to that opal from a couple seasons back um, But that's that's a little bit older card um, This was a really cool uh, card in 2k19 as well uh, Zach Levine and Penny Hardway round out. I'm not gonna jump into their stats um, But they'll be out pretty soon anyway um, I do want to jump into this Tyler Hero. He's going to be a free card. And we now got the um, card art for Draymond popping up. So just uh, Tyler Hero pretty quick. He had a pretty good um, Amethyst card. So the jumper is nice. Stats are looking pretty good. We go here defensively. He's looking solid as well on the badge side. Um, anything that he's missing. Posterizer, Lob City Finisher, Highlight Film. Um, set shooter, floor general, stop and go might be a good badge to add to him. On defensive side, he can pretty much get everything except for worm, and he's missing uh, box, brick wall, chase down artist, clutch defender, defensive leader, uh, pogo stick, rebound chaser, rim protector. Uh, so a solid free card. Uh, 2K's really done a good job with those free cards this year, or this season. Uh, so shout out to them for that. And that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this. Smash that like if this was useful or um, informational or whatever, entertaining. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like that. My name is Alan. This is Project Elevate. Till next time, elevate your grind, game, yourselves, and each other. Peace.